Welcome back, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Woo! LeBron James, his entire career is false, is fake. He's a phony. LeBron is a phony. His whole entire career is built off of Michael Jordan, right? Without Michael Jordan, LeBron would never be nothing. And I'm not trying to hate, but LeBron has never been his own man. He has never taken his own path. There's nothing wrong with idolizing Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant, if there's anybody who idolized Michael Jordan the most, it was Kobe Bryant. But Kobe Bryant went out there and put forth the work ethic. He didn't come into a weak NBA like LeBron in the early 2000s. He came into a tougher NBA and he had to work his way to the top. Yes, he could have went to, I think he got drafted to the Hornets. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he didn't want to go. He was not going to go to the Hornets. Um, he could have took that option. And that's probably why I don't take, put him top five. You know what I'm saying? Because he came in and he, he went to the Lakers. He had a chance to, you know, do his thing. And maybe he could have been the all-time scoring leader. Maybe he could have had more um, scoring titles and all this. I'm not trying to say Kobe Bryant wasn't great. I think he was better than LeBron James. If LeBron would have came into the uh, early 2000s uh, or would have came into the 90s like Kobe Bryant, LeBron would have been sitting on the bench. It was just a tougher, more fundamental game back then. Okay? LeBron struggled coming into the early 2000s. You know, I'm not going to get back into that. I got videos out on that, so let's get into this right here. LeBron comes into the league acting phony baloney, right? He didn't take his own path and wear his own jersey number. He took the number 23 that was Michael Jordan. And what's wrong with that? People be like, well, what's wrong with that? If you're the most hyped player of all time, the chosen one, the next the Mas uh, I wouldn't say Messiah. I think that's what they call Jordan. If you're all those things that they say you are coming into the league, you should have took your own path and you should have wore your own number. I don't care what number it was, but you could have wore your own number. Instead, he picked a number 23 after Michael Jordan and has no similarities to Michael Jordan's game at all. So we don't even know why he picked the number 23 uh, besides you know, him trying to get people to forget about Michael Jordan. I don't know why. Um, maybe the same reason he went to the Lakers to try to act like he could outshine, you know, people like Will, Kareem, Magic, um, Kobe, Shaq, Elgin Baylor. He hasn't done these things yet <laughs> since he's been with L.A. All he has done was made himself look like a fool, okay, with these super teams, missing the playoffs in this week era, all, all this type of stuff, walking off the court early. You know, he has made a lot of money in L.A., but he's made a lot of money in his career off of losing. This guy has made over a billion dollars off of losing, melting down and choking. Wow. <laughs> and now he's going to jump on a podcast and act like his career wasn't a failure. It was a failure. I don't know what everybody is looking at. Two statistical, two statistical titles in 20 seasons. Wow. <laughs> so all of a sudden we're playing for longevity stats and. 27 7 and 7 we're playing for those stats nobody knew that until lebron james went four and six in the finals and then it became about statistical titles i mean uh stats so next lebron decides to take jordan's powder toss in his little minions and followers and rejects they will say oh lebron james he, he doesn't do it like michael jordan he still does it <laughs> he just throws it up in the air. Michael Jordan didn't do that. Um, so, yeah, he takes Michael Jordan's powder toss, you know, because he his fans don't understand that he's not original. They think that he is doing something that's original. He has no originality. Um, he doesn't speak like a professional. Nobody intelligent, intellectual, nothing. He, he's like a fake hip hop dude. And then he tries to be this intelligent dude. Whatever, man. If, if you believe this fake dude, the way he acts, go ahead. He throws his teammates under the bus, his coaches under the bus, everybody under the bus. 
So let's keep going. Makes the Space Jam movie after Michael Jordan does. And it poops, tanks. <laughs> Woo! Why would you ever do something like that after Michael Jordan did that? And Michael Jordan had the right characters or the right players to do that. You know, uh, NBA players back at the time that have real personalities. You can't do this in this era. These guys don't have personalities. These NBA players today are not rock stars like the NBA players was back then. So we can see already three things. LeBron has no originality. What can he do that's original? He can't do much on the court, <laughs> right? He can't. He, he's a okay passer, underwhelming rebounder, gets his 20, 27 points off of dunks and layups. It's nothing hard. So let's keep going. Michael Jordan, I'm back. When he came back in 95, that was the big slogan now. I'm back. That's all he said. He didn't make no press conference or nothing like that. You know, he didn't say he was, you know, go teaming up with a whole bunch of superstars and all this stuff. He just said, I'm back. Um, and I think he, what, what did he say this? Um, he didn't have a press conference. He, he said that to somebody in the media or something like that. And they put it on ESPN. Jordan said he was back. You know, he didn't have a whole uh, interview and paparazzi all over the place. And it became a big thing. This is Michael Jordan. <laughs> so you look at LeBron James when he went back to Cleveland. What does it say? Nike put out Jordan's slogan. I'm back. And let me tell you something. If before you even say, oh, no, that was Nike who did that. LeBron could have said, man, look, I don't want to do that. That's what Michael Jordan slogan was when he came back into the NBA in 95. But LeBron let it ride because he wanted it to ride because that's what he's been doing all of his career. He's been biting off of Michael Jordan. Um, he's not his own man. He's a, he's a fraud. I'm trying to tell you, he doesn't have any originality, as you can see. And you guys, we're going to go down to the last one, and it has nothing to do with Michael Jordan. Um, but we do have a little bit more for you after that one. So let's go down here. Kobe High School. Uh, Kobe's high school decision, I have decided to take my talents to the NBA. That's what Kobe said <laughs> in this press conference when he didn't decide to go to college. And he said he decided to take his talents to the NBA. Fast forward, here's LeBron James going to Miami with this big... <laughs> I don't know what you call it, documentary, movie type of thing. Act like he was doing something for the Boys and Girls Club by showing up to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, doing the decision there. I have decided to take my talents to South Beach. So, <laughs> woo, a lot of people don't know this. Um, LeBron has no originality. He's not his own man. And... He had, to, he had to say something. He hadn't won a championship yet. He had to come up with something. And this was Kobe Bryant's quote. Graduating from high school, skipping, uh, skipping college and going to the NBA, right? So what are the LeBron fans going to say about this? <laughs> and we got a little bit more for you coming up. So th this guy has no originality. His whole career is fake. Um... This is why I don't listen to Rob Parker. I don't listen to um, Stephen A. Smith. I don't listen to Chris Broussard. When they try to put this guy number two of all time, it's a fraud. They're, they're still trying to sell this guy as this, this era right here. They're trying to keep him in this. They're trying to put this guy in this era right here in the 2020s. This guy lost in the 2010s. That was his peak. That was his real era. And he lost. And now he, he's he's the uh, voice for the 2020s now, right? Because he won one bubble championship. So let's look at this right here. Magic comes into the league. He goes with Converse, right? He signs with Converse, a big contract. Jordan comes in the league. And I think, was it, what was it, Adidas? If I'm not mistaken, 
Might have been somebody else. I think Adidas wanted to sign Michael Jordan. He said he was going with Nike, right? And he, he took a chance. No Nobody knew about Nike. But Michael Jordan said, I'm going to be my own man. I'm going to be my own man. Shaq said, I'm going with Reebok. Look, Jordan could have followed Magic. Shaq could have followed Jordan. Shaq says, I'm going with Reebok. Kobe says, I'm going with Adidas. Right? Kobe could have went with Jordan. He could have signed with Nike. All these guys wanted to be their own man. Wanted to, wanted to go their own path. So the biggest thing and the biggest hype coming into the league had a chance to do what? He could have went somewhere else. All the dummies, they're going to say, oh, what, what, what do you expect him to do? Nike gave him a $100 million contract. This man could have made his own shoe, right? If he's the biggest hype, the biggest thing coming into the league, why not make your own shoe? The LeBron James shoe. What did he do? He went with Nike. He followed Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan started Nike. So you can go ahead and make your excuses right now. Who's going to turn down $100 million? Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. But this guy, he was basically what he was. He was just a hype player. He hadn't proven anything. He came into the league and missed the playoffs, uh, was a minus 144 for the season, shot 41% from the field, which is, I don't even know how that's possible for a forward shooting 70% of his shots in the paint. Got the bronze medal in the offseason. Missed the um, playoffs his second season with an all-star teammate. Nobody talks about that. <laughs> Nobody talks about that, but Jordan was getting beat with no all-star teammate against five Hall of Famers. Um, the the next season, 06, he got rolled up in the FIBA to some plumbers again. So I guess it's a good thing this guy signed with Nike and followed Michael Jordan because, like we see, he could never take his own path and be successful. All he's been is a copycat, a loser, and, it you know, his career is a fraud. So you guys tell me what you think.